Hey guys, today I'll show you how to install KitKat on your Xperia L. As you can see, it's on KitKat. Android version 4.2.2. So, I'll show you how to do it. For this, you need a couple of files, which are provided download links in the description. Be sure to download all of these files before you continue. And uh, installing 4.4 KitKat has a couple of prerequisites like you have to be on an analog bootloader and you have to have a CWM kernel. Any of them, which is Civic, Phantom, or Thunderous app, any kernel which is compatible with Clockwork Mod. Then, after you have done so, download all the files that I've provided. Then unzip this folder fastboot c2104 then copy the three files which you downloaded boot user data and system once you've done that you need to have fastboot drivers for your Xperia L be sure to install them in case anything goes wrong Connect your device in fast boot mode by turning off the device. I forgot to mention another bug in my earlier video on Xperia L running KitKat that it doesn't it does not support uh, USB mass storage and it does not charge via USB when connected to a computer well uh, you can fix that by toggling the USB debugging function in the developer options but still uh, for people who are concerned with uh, a lot of movies games and all etc they should know that uh, USB mass storage is not supported Okay, once your device is turned off, hold down the power up button and connect the USB simultaneously, like so. Once you've done it, you should be greeted with a blue light in the illumination area. Once you're sure that your device is connected with the necessary drivers, open the command window in this folder. You do so by pressing shift and right click at the same time open a command window first you gotta flash the system.img file you do so by doing fast boot flash system system.img okay once you enter the command press enter it will take a couple of minutes but uh, the process will be done I'm not showing you the live procedure because I already have Kit KitKat on my phone okay once you have flashed the system next you have to flash the user data fast boot flash user data Sorry. user data dot img and press enter it will take a couple of seconds to get completed okay once it's completed remove your device then boot into clockwork mod by pressing volume up and down simultaneously while booting the device it will take you to clockwork mod then flash the pa gaps file or the PAG apps file, whatever you like to call it. And then turn it off. Don't boot the device. I'm really sorry. I'm not showing it on my device. Is that I'm not take a back. I'm not taking backup of my personal files or messages or something. But if you have any doubts, you can leave them down in the comment section. Once you flash gaps, turn off your device. Don't not reboot. It may crash your phone. Then. Again, connect it in fast, fast boot mode. 
again connect in fast boot mode then flash the boot.img which is the final step to this procedure fast boot flash boot space boot dot img oops sorry dot img then press enter it should just take a couple of seconds to get completed then you're done with all the procedures once you're done unplug your device and turn the device on the first boot always takes a very long amount of time but don't be impatient it will boot you're greeted with the nexus boot animation that you see on the nexus 5 and clockwork mod is not included in the kernel that we just flashed for KitKat uh, just so you know cause uh, many users take backup and all with it okay once you're done you should be done with the set setup screen then you should have KitKat running on your device that's it folks